Right, because I've only got them two pieces above the door frame now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece as wide as a door frame. I've just measured it and it was 900. Okay. So, if I cut a piece at 900, like that. So then I'm going to paste it, crease it first, turn it over and paste it. It doesn't really matter what side of line and paper you paste, but if you get into the habit of always opening it that way and turning it over, it's how you do it with a finished paper anyway. So you just get into the habit of doing it like that. So again, just paste this. And what I'm going to do with this bit is I'm going to use both sides of it. So even though it's one small piece of paper, I'm going to be able to get the um, measurements for the top of the both of the door frames from it. So I'm going to do some cutting on the board. All right. So with this one, because obviously it's not that long, I'm just going to do two folds, one to the centre, one to the centre. Make sure your edges are aligned. All right. So I'm going to use this bit up to one, up top of one door frame, this bit, top of the other. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to measure the top of this door frame. And that, I'm going to do it about 100. It's shorter this side, so make sure you measure both sides. Okay, and I'll just measure this one. So that's under 100 and that one's just over 100. So I'm going to cut the pieces at about 105. And what I do sometimes, I just put a pencil mark on my ruler. You can do this if you're using a tape measure as well. So I've got my measurement now at 105. I'm going to put my paper against the edge of the board. I'm going to run my finger along the edge of the board like that and put the ruler in it and make sure that line stays on the edge of the board. So I'm going to do that on top of the paper. So I've got me 105 there and what I'm going to do, get my pencil, put my pencil there and I'm not going to look at my pencil. I'm just going to keep my eye on this mark and make sure that it's running parallel with the edge of this paper. Let's say the paper must be right at the edge. So I don't even need to look at the pencil. It's very tempting to look at it, but a pencil, I do that look, it's going to work. I don't need to look at it to know it's going to work. So pencil on there. I'm just going to look at the mark. Now, now I'm coming up to the pasty bit, so I'm just going to jump over again, alongside. Now that's one piece top of the door frame. I'm going to do the same with the other side. Make sure it's aligned against the paste table. I find it easier to use a box ruler for this, but if you wanted to use a tape measure, that's fine, it's whatever you prefer. So again, not looking at a pencil line at all. Just making sure I'm looking at that mark and I know my pencil's wet. So what I'm gonna do now is just cut them two pieces off. So that's the top of one door frame. the top of the other. So you've got your two pieces there. Okay. So they're ready to go. So we'll go and put them in. So we'll start with this one. Right. So 
Now make sure you've got all your tools before you come up here. Quite often you get up here when you go off to your pockets and you've got some tools. So if I get my first piece, my edge here, my machine edge, is going to go to the ceiling and my cut edge is going to go on top of the door frame. So again, have your finger just sort of a few 20, 30 mil in for this bit. Up to the corner, you still need your excess to trim off because no corners are straight. Okay, so we're going to go like that. Tuck that all in. Again, I'm going to get my pencil right into the corner this time. I'm going to go across the top of there. And I'm just going to cut at that angle. Right, a bit pasty this one, over pasty, better to be over pasty than under pasty. So, and because it's easier, I'm just going to take it off now and trim along that pencil line. Yeah, that opening the shears, nice and wide, do a nice long cut. If you point the shears, towards that pencil line your cut will be straight if you try and cut that way obviously you'll cut at that angle so if you point your shears right towards the top of the pencil line you can't really go wrong right so that's that bit I'll pick that bit up in a minute now that bit there fits perfectly into there. Now, obviously, I've got a little bit overhanging. And what I'm going to do with that is, I just want to have a look, come around here. I'm going to fold it up to the door frame like that. And I'm going to press it down. And I'm going to leave it. Okay, so... That's going to stay like that until the paper's dry. When the paper's dry, I'm going to just tear that bit down. And what it will give you is a feathered edge. And then I'm not going to get that straight like lump of paper one on top of the other. It's going to be a smooth feathered edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Make sure you pick up your bits. Don't forget about them. Every single bit is a trip hazard. And then again, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. But if you remember the other side, I've overlapped at both sides here. So I'm going to go up to there. Uh, there, tuck it in. So let's me look. Always, always look at your arrows one way up. I can tell that because it wasn't sitting right. So sheen edge to the top. Smooth that. Cut. At that point, release that. A little bit off there, but it's alright. I can move it up. No problem. That one. Like that. Now them two bits there, after I've trimmed the top of that. Sometimes it's a bit awkward and you've got to actually leave the paper on. And in a la with a lining paper, you can actually tear it and put it back together. So don't worry if you do tear it. Don't think you've got to get rid of it. It's a lining paper. Something's going to go over the top of it, whether it be paint or paper. So don't get annoyed and think, well, I've cut it short or I've torn it because you won't believe how easy it goes back together. So. your fingers this bit here ours at the top you can see it's 
in place. Now, same as I did that side, I'm going to fold this piece back on itself. You can get rid of that bottom bit if you want. You don't need to leave that on. Fold it back. Crease it and make sure it is down. Make sure it's it's definitely on. Press down really well. This side, exactly the same. And as I say, when we come back, and that's dry, I'll be able to just tear them and it'll be a feathered edge. So last thing is to make sure, always, always, always get your paste off. If you leave paste on a surface, it'll just go yellow, okay? And if you try and paint your door frame, you know when you've stripped your wallpaper, if you try and paint your door frame and it's got paste all over it, Gonna go a bit gungy. Okay, so nice and clean. Them two bits can just stay like that. And that is lining into an internal corner. Okay, so the corner's protected now. Sorry, Barney. The cor corner, I've gone round and then in. We've left two bits of the top. We've cut to angles and we've done cross lining to the bottom. We've trimmed off excess and we've done that external corner. So that's your demo done. <laughs>